Hi, this is Mike Richmond. It's time for another mini lesson in biostatistics. This mini lesson is intended for students of Math 221B biostatistics. If you're using this mini lesson for a different class, there might be some terminology or some emphasis that is different from what you're used to. Today's mini lesson is about how to calculate a percentile. Quite often in class, we'll ask you, what is the 38th percentile of this distribution? And I want to show you exactly how to do that. First thing we need to know is there are some requirements in order to calculate a percentile. If for this lesson, we will expect that your distribution is normal, that it's normally distributed variable, that you're trying to calculate the percentile. And in order to calculate the percentile, we need to take advantage of the equation for a z-score. That is, z is equal to x minus mu over sigma, where mu represents the population mean, sigma represents the population standard deviation, and x is the particular value uh, for which you're trying to calculate a z-score. Now, in our case, we're not trying to calculate the z-score. We're actually trying to calculate the x, and we'll be given a, a percentile value from which we will calculate the z-score. So I need to do a little bit of algebraic manipulation to this equation. The first thing I want to do is move sigma over to the left because I'm trying to isolate the x. So if I multiply both sides of this equation by sigma and then I add a mu to both sides, I end up with z times sigma plus mu is equal to x. This is an equality, so I can easily swap it around and put the x on the left-hand side. And now I have x equals z times sigma plus mu. This is the ideal situation for calculating a percentile. I have an equation that is x equals z sigma plus mu, and I will usually be given mu and sigma in my story problem, and then I'll be given a percentile value from which I will go and calculate a z, and from there it's just plug and chug to calculate my x. So let's try a couple of these. Question number one, the mean weight for a six-month-old female in the U.S. is 16.9 pounds with a standard deviation of 0 0.92 pounds. What is the 26th percentile? Okay, so let's look at the givens here. The mean is 16.9, the standard deviation is 0 0.92, and the percentile I'm looking for is the 26th. I need to know how to calculate a z-score for that 26th percentile. In order to calculate a z-score for the 26th percentile, I'm going to use the normal probability applet. And what I'm looking for is the value of z such that 26% of the area under the curve is to the left of that value of z, and therefore 74% of the area under the curve is to the right of that value of z. You can see that I have both tails selected right now, and I don't want that because I just want to look for the stuff that's to the left of the of the vertical red line that represents the 26th percentile. So in order to get that, I'm going to deselect the right tail and have only the left tail highlighted in blue. Once I've done that, I can go to the top of the applet and change this value to 26% or 0 0.26. Now once I hit enter, it's going to move these red lines such that the blue area will be 26% of the area under the curve. Okay, now that I've hit enter, you can see that the red line on the left side is at a z-score of negative 0.643, and the area highlighted in blue is representing 26% of the area under the normal, uh, standard normal distribution. All right, now that I know what my z-score is, I'm going to use my calculator substitutions spreadsheet in Excel to calculate the percentile I'm looking for. If you're looking at this and you don't recognize what I'm doing here, you can go and watch my mini lesson about using Excel as a calculator substitute. So here's what I've got. I've got a little table portion set up here where I can enter in my Z, my Mu, and my Sigma, and then the calculated value for X will be returned, and in this case that will be the percentile. Okay, so just as a reminder, I'm looking for the 26th percentile. The Z-score that's associated with that is negative 0 0.643. My mu was 16.9 pounds. And my sigma is 0 0.92 pounds. Alright, now that I've stuck those values in there, my calculation 
uh, is going to give me x, which is z times sigma plus mu, and that's 16.30844. So if I wanted to round this to three digits past the decimal, I would report 16.308, and that would be the 26th percentile of the weight of six-month-old baby girls in the U.S. Okay, let's try another. Let's suppose you are taking a test, and the test scores have an average of 72, and the standard deviation is 8, and I want to know what the 88th percentile is. So we're going to use the same procedure, and I'm going to figure out what the z-score associated with the 88th percentile is. To do that, I have to go back to my probability applet. All right, so here we are at the probability applet, and I want to figure out the area to the left of my z-score that includes 88% of the area under the graph. Now, if you'll notice that typically when I want to look at 88% of the area under the graph, I'm going to have to choose the central portion also. So I'll have to put the left and the center portion highlighted in blue. But the applet is smart enough that you really actually don't have to do that. In fact, if I go up here and type in 88% or 0 0.88 in the area, you'll notice after I hit enter, it automatically highlights the center portion because it knows that if the area is greater than 0.5 or 50%, that the area under the curve in blue is going to have to include the center portion also. So now the z-score I'm looking for is this one on the right side, the positive value, because that's the point at which 88% of the area under the curve is to the left and 12% of the area under the curve is to the right. My z-score for the 88th percentile is 1.175. Okay, so with that information, I can go ahead and calculate what the 88th percentile is again by putting in the appropriate values for each of these variables. Z is 1.175, mu was 72, and sigma is 8. After I plug those in and hit enter, it says a score of 81.4 on the exam is going to be in the 88th percentile. Okay, so this is just a quick mini lesson on step-by-step -step instructions on how to calculate a percentile. Thanks for listening.